Smelling good can help you make friends. If you don't have no friends, start smelling good. That's going to make you have friends, I'm telling you. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a little minute. I can't lie to you, it's been a minute. Um, I'm so happy to be back, back on camera, talking to you guys. And just, I keep smiling because I'm just so happy. Um, it's just been a really hectic couple of weeks. I probably haven't recorded in like, I actually did start recording a vlog and I just scrapped it because it just wasn't quality content. But that's all I want to give you guys is quality content. So yeah. Um, if you're new here, hey, what's up? How you doing? I still haven't come up with like a, a intro or whatever. And I feel like that's too forced. I just say whatever comes to my head every time. But yeah, hey, what's up? Um, my name is Nikki. Um, I do beauty, fashion, makeup, hair, lifestyle, vlog, whatever you want to call it. I don't really have a niche yet because I don't know, I'm just being myself. And I feel like I don't want to box myself into any category. I just want to do me. So yes, welcome back to my channel. Um, you might as well just subscribe now because you're gonna love it here. So yeah, as you can tell by the title, today's video is gonna be about fragrance, about the smell goods, so what's gonna make you smell good. And it's gonna be summertime related. Now, let me make this little disclaimer. So I've seen a lot of people talking about like fragrance on TikTok and there's like rules to certain fragrances. They say that you're not supposed to wear wintertime scents in the summer and vice versa, that, you know, gourmands are meant for wintertime, fruity floral scents are meant for summer. And let me just tell you this, those rules don't apply to me because I just feel like if I purchase the fragrance with my money, you're not gonna tell me when I can and cannot wear it. I just feel like if I wanna smell like flowers and fruits today, and I want to smell like cookies and caramel crumble on another day, I should be able to do that regardless of the season. Like, if I want to smell like winter candy apple in summer, let me do that. Like, I don't know why there's so many rules and regulations to all this type of stuff. So, this video is not necessarily summer fragrances, but I feel like these are fragrances that remind me of summertime, if that makes sense. So yeah, let's hop right into it. Um, I have five fragrances to show you guys today. I have shown a few of them on my channel before. Um, not formally, just, you know, hey, this is what I like to smell like. So I'm gonna show you guys all of these fragrances, all five, um, tell you where I got them, how much they were, the scent families, all that good stuff, high notes, whatever, whatever, whatever. So let's get straight into the video and yeah. So the first scent, that I have to show you guys is, let me go ahead and do like that, is this. And this is called Sol de Janeiro Anita. And it says passion fruit, nectar, and pink patchouli. Um, and it's a body fragrance mist. Now this is not a perfume, this is a mist. So as you can see, I really love this because look how much I have left. It smells so good. So I'm gonna spray it. I just love how it smells. This fragrance is like super fruity, but it also has like a little bit of vanilla sugariness in it, if that makes sense. Like this is something that I can wear every day. And I'm gonna read you the fragrance notes on here. So the top notes are passion fruit nectar, agua de coco, mid is tiger orchid and jasmine honey and then it dries down to a pink patchouli and vanilla bean so there's fruity flavors and vanilla gourmandish flavors in there some cocoa beans some vanilla so i'm gonna put the fragrances up here so they're gonna pop up every time i show a new fragrance but this one like this is like a everyday spray on your clothes just spray as you go like 
I will put this in my bag when I go to school. I spray it on my wigs. Like, it's just a scent that kind of just goes, it smells good all the time. But I will say that if you spray too much of it, it starts to give like artificial. So don't spray too much, like don't overdo it. And I know it's hard not to do that because it just smells so good, but don't overdo it with this. This is on the lower side because it's not a perfume. It is a body mist. This is only $20. You can get it at Sephora. I think you can get it at Ulta, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but I think I got this one from Sephora. Well, it was a gift, but I think they got it from Sephora. And it's only 20 bucks, $20, nice and cheap. And you're gonna smell great. The next fragrance I have here is probably one of my favorites. Just look at the bottle, first of all. The bottle was what really caught my eye. I remember one day I was in Macy's with my friends and I saw this bottle. I was like, I gotta smell that. I gotta smell it. So the kind lady at the desk, she was like, oh yeah, da, da, da. she brought out the samples and then, you know, she sprayed it on the thing. And I was like, whoa, like, this is a perfume. I call this like a date night perfume. Um, it is extremely fruity, very strong. Like it's a bold perfume, very bold, very strong. Let me go ahead and read you the notes. Oh, let me tell you the name of it first. This is Angel Nova by Mugler, and I love it so much. Like, this is probably one of my favorite perfumes. Um, I got it for my birthday, my boyfriend got it for me. And I almost cried when I saw the box because I just been wanting it for so long and I was like, yes, I finally got it. And look how cute the bottle is. Like, I just love having this in my collection. But let me go ahead and tell you the notes. So, the main accords are fruity, there's some rose, it's a sweet, oud, tropical, woody, warm, spicy scent. But as it dries down, it you kind of smell the oud, woodiness more, but it's very, very fruity and floral at first. And then as it dries down, it's a more woody scent. But this, I think this is the 1.7 ounce. And I did have, it came with a, um, a small size. Let me show you the small size how cute this is it comes with a little one to go with it i just thought that was the cutest thing ever because like i could put this one in my purse and yeah this is angel nova by Mugler, one of my favorites um i wear it all the time like all the time and i feel like i should probably stop wearing it so much so i don't get tired of it but i just love it like it's the cutest thing ever and it smells so good so that's one thing I like about perfumes. Like if the bottle is cute, that's like a plus because I love displaying my perfume. Most of my scents are fruity floral scents because that's just the type of person I am. I don't really like all those woody, fresh smelling like alcohol perfumes. Those are old lady grandma perfumes. You can't tell me any different. But these, I love a fruity floral scent. So let me tell you the price. Um, I think this perfume was like $100. I don't know, like 120. 100, 120, somewhere around that range. So that's on the upper end. This one was $20. This one is like 100 something. So keep that in mind. On to the next perfume. All right. First of all, can we have a moment for the bottle? A moment for this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous perfume bottle. Like, come on, come on. Who doesn't want this in their collection? Even if it stinks. Who wouldn't want this in their collection? Like, this is gorgeous. Anyways, the name of this perfume is called Leali Rogue by the Swiss Arabian um, perfume company, whatever. And this one I actually got on Amazon. This is a 15 milliliter. How many ounces is that? I'm not doing no math, but that's what this is. And just, I first saw this on TikTok and I fell in love with the bottle. I'm like, I gotta go get it gotta go get it so i ran to amazon threw it in my cart i think it was like 35 40 dollars something around that price range and it's actually a perfume oil so let me show you how it works you twist this little top off and there's this um this right here mm, it smells rich and i just rub it on my wrist like that rub it on my neck and it just smells like it's fruity but then it's floral and it's not the type of floral that smells like boo-boo. It's like, this is what roses is supposed to smell like. Like if I looked at a rose, this is what I would think it would smell like. But roses actually stink. 
Isn't that something like, why didn't God make roses smell like this? Because every time in movies, they'd be like, mm, the flower smells so good. And I finally smelled a real flower and I was like, this stinks. It's giving you floral. Let me um, read the notes to you. So the main accords are fruity, tropical, floral, sweet, rose, woody, and then powdery as the last one. So I'm gonna put the, you'll see this chart right here. I don't gotta read to you, but you're gonna see the chart. I'm gonna read it anyway, but yeah. That's this, I just love this bottle. It's pink, it's gold, it's shiny. It just gives luxury, it makes me feel rich. Every time I put it on, I just feel like, come fetch me the car. <laughs> and it's an oil, keep that in mind. So be careful of it getting on your clothes because I'm not stained a few dresses wearing this, but honestly it's worth it because it smells so good. And this was like $40, I think. I'm gonna have the links and everything too. So you guys have easy access to everything I'm showing you in the video. On to the next fragrance. So here we have this. Sunkissed Hibiscus by Ness, New York. Now this, this is probably one of my top five scents. Because like, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be all that. Like the bottle is cute, it has a little flower on it, but like, it just seems like a regular, regular, regular perfume. Like you don't think it's gonna pack that much punch, but let me tell you, it smells, like it just smells so soft and pretty. And the reason I bought this is because Sephora sent me a sample of this just randomly and I was like this smells amazing like it just smells like so soft and 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 pretty like it makes me feel pretty when I have it on that's what this is Sunkissed Hibiscus by Nest and I'm gonna tell you the notes in it of course it's a fruity floral scent so it says the main accords are coconut white floral tropical floral amber sweet tuberose and citrus so you definitely get all of that in here. So the scent actually reminds me of like one of the teachers I had back in grade school. This is what she smelled like. I mean, I don't know if this is the perfume she wore, but when I smelled this, it like transported me back to elementary school. When I had this one teacher, Miss Williams, she wasn't even a teacher, she was a student teacher, but she used to smell like this. So I had to get it. It smells so good. So this is Sunkissed Hibiscus by Nest. And I think it's about, I would say it's like 80 bucks, $85. Honestly, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm going to make sure I put the links down below so you can look for yourself. And yeah, I know it's like a bit higher, but not like crazy high. It's not like $200. It's probably like 80, 90, $100, somewhere around there. And this is the last perfume. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is the last perfume. My old faithful Eilish by Billie Eilish, okay? Now, this perfume is just like, I wouldn't even say it's a summertime or wintertime scent. It's an all the time, everyday scent. If you like sweet vanilla gourmand scents, this is the one for you. So, honestly, I'm not really a vanilla girl. Sometimes vanilla smells too um, artificial to me. Sometimes it smells like alcohol and I don't really care for that, but this is one of the first vanilla scents that I actually like, liked off first rip, like off first scent. I loved it. So, Eilish by Billie Eilish. I don't know, she could have came up with a better name. Not creative at all, but who cares? Cause it smells so good. And the bottle, 10 out of 10. Packaging, 10 out of 10. This is very much vanilla, very much sweet, like, I usually pair these together because this one's a little more spicy and then this kind of tones it down a bit. So this is a good pairing because this is just so sweet. I feel like sometimes you need a little bit of oomph to tone the sweetness down. But sometimes you need a little bit of sweet to tone the spice down. So it depends on the mood you're going for. But this is like a perfume you could wear every day all the time. I be spraying it in my hair, spray it on everything. And this was probably like $60, $70. So it wasn't too expensive, but it wasn't cheap. Smells so good. I think you can get it on Sephora or I think she has an actual website, I believe. I don't know, but 
I'm gonna put the links down below. So don't even worry about all that. Don't even worry. But one more time for the bottle. Like this is just so pretty, super cute. And it's a lot that comes in here. This is a, I wanna say 3.4 ounce bottle. And for only $70, like, are you crazy? That's a steal. But Eilish, by Billie Eilish, whatever you, I don't listen to her music, I don't listen to nothing, blah, 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 but her perfume, I'm a fan now. This made me a fan. I don't listen to not one song she ever put out, but this made me a Billie Eilish fan. That's how good it smells. So if you want to smell like cookies and caramel and vanilla, this is the one for you. And I recommend this to all my friends. Like if there's anybody asks me for a perfume, this is the first one I recommend because it's just so universal. Like you can mix it with anything. It pairs well with a lot of things with my body lotions. I use it with my, um, it's too far away, but I use it with my Fenty body butter and it smells so good together. So this is very good for mixing with other scents. You don't have to worry about it clashing and you know becoming a nasty smell because this goes well with practically everything. And let me go ahead and tell you the notes for this. All right, so the main accords are vanilla, sweet, warm, spicy, cacao, powdery, amber, and musky. Those are the notes for Miss Eilish by Billie Eilish. Love, 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 love this one. I'll probably say out of this whole collection, these two are my favorites and they smell so good together, okay? Sometimes I even put this with this or I'll do all three of them. It depends on how I'm feeling. One thing about me, I put on a lot of perfume. Like I'll just spray it as if it's water. Like I spray it like these don't cost at least $100 but cause they smell so good. Like I just can't resist. They smell so good. So that is the end of my video. Oh, let me do a little thumbnail with all my perfumes. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I mean, this video was really fun for me because I love talking about fragrances. Like, I could talk about perfume all day because there's just so many options. There's so many, so many different like pairings you could do. And I just feel like everybody should have a good perfume collection because it depends on your mood. Like. A scent can really like make you feel more confident. Like walking around like, ooh, that's me, that's me like that. I love when somebody like, oh, it smells good. I'd be like, yeah, it's me. But I don't be wanting to like come out and say it. I'd be waiting for people to like smell me and they'd be like, oh, it's you. And I'm like, yeah. And then like, what do you wear? And I'm like, oh, let me tell you about So like, it even helps you make friends. Smelling good can help you make friends. If you don't have no friends, start smelling good. That's gonna make you have friends, I'm telling you. <laughs> smelling good open so many doors okay if you're single and you want a man smell good <laughs> if you're a man and you're looking for a girl get you some cologne nobody wants to smell you smelling like must and, and 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 whatever you had for dinner last night smell good smell fresh get you some cologne invest in your cologne invest in how you present yourself because that's part of first impression if you look good and you stink I'm gonna remember how you smell forever. Smelling good gets you places you've never been before, okay? Smelling good opens the doors of opportunity, okay? I'm preaching to somebody today because I'm just telling you, smelling good is so important. But anyways, I'm talking too much rambling at this point. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed making it, I enjoyed telling you guys what I do, what I use. Like, it's just, I love putting people on. I'm not a gatekeeper. Like, if you ask me, where did you get this? Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna send you the link. I'm gonna send you my coupon code to make sure you can get it. Like, I'm the type of person I want everybody to win. I want everybody to be looking good, feeling good, smelling good. So, yeah. And if there's anything, any questions you have, you can let me know in the comments and all that. Um, See you guys in the next video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, I'm watching you, okay? Make sure you subscribe. Because how am I gonna get big if you don't subscribe? I need my subscribers. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. 
I'll see you guys in the next video.